Hey there guys, welcome back to some more Plants vs Zombies Heroes, and we have two more quests to do. We need to play three nuts and we need to play five plants that cost five sun or more. And since I don't have to play a multiplayer game, I'm gonna do it in the campaign missions. So uh, here we are. We just got done, or in the previous single mission, we got uh, done beating a boss battle, so we have a brand new uh, set of uh, missions waiting for us. I am going to be playing with my Citron because I need to play a couple of nuts and well, I could either play as this guy or the uh, Spadal, but I feel like playing with the Citron. It's been a while. I've made some slight changes to this uh, deck. I've added the this guy, the Soul Patch, just because it's awesome. If your hero would get hurt, this gets hurt instead. So yeah, I've added this guy to the deck, even though he isn't a nut nor a bean, he's a vine. But he's just that awesome, so I added him in here. I've also added in another mirror nut because why not? He's awesome. Uh, when your nuts get hurt, do two damage to the zombie hero. I have two of them now, which I love. By the way, I've also added these guys in here. They are the, the Spartacus. So when the zombie trick is played, do two damage to the zombie hero. Um, because yeah, it turns out he's a nut as well. I didn't know that. So. Uh, it also contribute to the uh, well, the quest, right? So nuts, 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 and I've also added these beans in here because I just love having an early bean pack lunch thingy or a late game either way, because the beans are pretty awesome. Can I get rid of these guys? Die! Let's get rid of those. Let's try replacing them with two of these. What else? What else? Uh, one more water chestnut, sure. Do I have any tricks other than these cards? I don't have a couple of bouncy cards. Why do I have bouncy cards? We could get rid of a couple of gravestones. We could uh, ask for move a plan, draw a card. Hmm. Will moving a plan benefit us at all? Ooh. Love this little guy, but again, she's not a nut nor a plant. I have a couple of these high level cards in here. Should I just. Uh, yeah. Let's add one of these in there just because. Is that the right choice to make? We do have a lot of team ups, huh? I mean, we have a lot of nuts, so I can hide people behind them. But again, who can we hide behind them? The. What's your name? The Tree Peter is a good choice, but he only has. One, he only does one damage at a time, unless you can buff that. But I don't have anything that can buff my guys in this deck. Same goes for the, uh, what's your name? The Lightning Reed. So basically what I'm hoping is to just outlast the enemy. Right. Do we have another tactic we can use? So basically what it comes down to is we need to protect our mirror nuts and we can also play these guys and the beans. Okay, we have a three prompt attack. Uh, first up is the beans. If I can play this card with one of these other beans. Uh, do I have any other beans? Oh, I have five of these, four of these, uh, four of these and three of these. I also have two of these, huh? 
Do I want to keep the beans alive for any of these guys? Nope, I want to keep the nuts alive. Okay. Fine. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. For the quest, we need to play a couple of nuts and five high level uh, uh, plants as well. Huh? Alright, we got one of those. Uh, nope. Well, this is a lousy start, but I want to keep one. I want to have one of these just in case I can buff one in my uh, walnuts. Transform into a zombie that costs two or less. Alright, that's something. Sure. Bleh. Ugh. 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 Let's just go on the attack. get rid of her so can I do anything if I play this card over here that should be enough to take her down but I don't want to risk it crap yeah. one damage to me okay so I'm gonna be oh but that's another dancing zombie right so uh, yeah you do have three dancing zombies over there I wonder what's gonna pop up over there you do have two brains left, so you might play a trick. In the next round, I'll be able to play one of these guys, so I might try playing guy over here. Oh, crap. Not this guy. Ah, no. <laughs> Plant gets plus two, can't be heard this turn. I'm going to hold on to that. More dancers, more dancers. All these dancers are scaring me though. Let's protect you. And I might as well use it, huh? Should be able to survive this encounter, so yeah, there we go. We're gonna play a trick. Oh, come on! Well, that's no good. I'm taking way too much damage. More dancing zombies? Are you freaking kidding me? What? Alright, one of one attack will go through two attack and the third one will get blocked. 
at least. But I can get rid of one of them huh, by unbounding them. I don't want to bounce. I don't want to bounce either of them. You know what? I think I'm gonna bounce the disco zombie. And. You're gonna die if I put you over there, so no. Nope. I'm gonna put you over here. And let's get rid of the disco zombie. And just because I can. Let's uh, prevent us from. T oh, come on! It's plus 5 damage right there. Alright, I need to play this card ASAP. Please not this one. If it's this one, then you are one cheaty. Alright, cool. Alright. What else have you got? That's it. Uh... Doesn't matter what plant I play over here, this one or this one, both from her will die. But you'll do more damage, you'll do 3 damage, huh? but then again you have the bullseye ability. Do I want to bounce any of them? Not really. They'll get wrecked on their own, so... One card left. You are armored, so you should be able to, to take this damage. All right, now you're gone. Let's see what else you've got. Water chestnut. Did I protect him? I don't know what he's gonna spawn in there. It might be something big. So let's protect him. Oh. Pusha. Pusha. And you got healed. Ugh. he's going to do all of my nuts will get some more health which is good uh, do I want to bounce any of these guys we're gonna be doing six damage. How much damage will we be taken? Four. We will survive this encounter. We will survive this encounter. Okay. Just we're good. I don't need to bounce anybody. All right. 
Now is... Oh, crap. Another one? Are you kidding me? But I think we should win this one, right? All I need to do is bounce this guy. Or bounce this guy. You're going to die in this encounter. If I bounce this guy, he's just going to play it in the next turn. And I'm going to be facing three new uh, dancing zombies. So I'm just going to bounce this guy. Yeah, otherwise you're going to die. You will survive this encounter. You will as well. And if that doesn't work, he'll be able to finish it off. So let's just bounce this little backup dancer. I don't mind you playing him in the next turn. Oh, are you kidding me? I can't... Oh, never mind. Uh... Yeah, sure. I forgot. I forgot the water chestnut also has a uh, team up ability. Woo! All right. Yeah, the uh, this character, whatever your name is, this guy, the Soul Patch, freaking incredible card. There we go. Two quests in one match. I like it. I like it a lot. Cool, cool, cool. Oh well, uh, that was fast. Um, bit of a short episode, especially for previous uh, heroes. Usually my episodes tend to uh, well drag on until 30, 40 minutes. But uh, I'm just going to call it for now, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know what we'll be doing in the next episode. It all depends on the quest. But I do hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, guys. Take care. Have a wonderful day. And give your parents a hug. Till next time. Bye-bye.